Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial where today we're going to be talking about potions. And despite my head, sadly, no, we aren't going to finally be able to brew potions in a cauldron. Java players let out a collective cry of disappointment as we simply have to imagine and wait for someday. Maybe. But for today, with the new cosmetic change Minecraft made to potions losing their glint, I thought it would be a great time to talk about making our own custom potions in Minecraft, as this could very well help us in making our own Minecraft RPG down the road. After all, what's an RPG without a vial of health to suckle on every time you mistime a dodge roll? Additionally, this was actually suggested by one of my viewers just a little while ago on my Discord. If you have an idea for a video, want to see my streaming schedule, or just come chat about Minecraft, feel free to join with the link in the description below. So, let's get to brewing. First up, let's do a quick basics on potions in Minecraft. You get yourself a brewing stand, some blaze powder, some nether wart, and you start combining with bottles of water to make the base potion in the game. From there, adding various ingredients produces various results, and to go even further, you can even add in a redstone or a glowstone to increase its length or potency respectively. Now I know this is something all Minecraft players know at this point, but those mechanics are going to be important for us in just a bit. So why make custom potions? Minecraft already has a pretty extensive list of effects and pretty balanced ways to grant them. From things like speed, to slowness, instant damage, weakness, to even things like regeneration. Well, there are two main reasons to do some custom brewing with commands. Number one, to get potions with effects that are otherwise unobtainable in vanilla. And number two, to make potions with multiple effects at the same time. Some extra features, of course, include things like naming our potion, giving it a description, and even picking the color as well as if our potion will make the player emit particles upon consumption. So, let's start with the first option, making a potion with parameters unobtainable inside of vanilla Minecraft. For this demonstration, we'll modify an existing potion in Minecraft, for us, the Potion of Swiftness. Now, normally, a basic speed potion increases your speed by 20% in Minecraft. You can tell a speed change has occurred by the change in your FOV, or field of view, as well as the addition of the little effect symbol in your inventory. Technically, you can increase this to 40% speed with a speed 2 variant, but I think we can do better. Instead, let's make a potion of rush that multiplies our speed much higher. To start, let's head over to a command block, as this command might get quite long, and start by doing slash give at p minecraft colon potion. Now, it's not as simple as to just giving ourselves a potion of swiftness and changing a value or two. Instead, we need to add the custom potion effects tag to make our own version of the speed potion from scratch. Once we have that field, we can go inside and use the ID of the speed effect to get our results. Now, each effect in Minecraft has a correlating ID for reference purposes, and you can find a list of them all on the Minecraft wiki or MC Stacker, which we will take a look at later. Lucky for us, speed is the first potion in the list, so its ID is just one. Now, there are two more parameters here that we can modify, the amplifier and the duration. First up, the amplifier will determine how powerful the potion is. The math here can vary from effect to effect, but it is largely whatever the increment of the effect is times the level of the amplifier plus one. Now, I know this might sound complicated, I'm not trying to throw you back to Algebra 1 here, but let's break it down. If I were to set this amplifier to zero, I know that for the speed effect specifically, the effect increments in 20% increases. So to see how much this would be, 0 plus 1 is 1, and then 1 times 20, or 20%, 20 is simply just 20%. So actually an amplifier 0 potion would just be a normal old speed potion, increasing us by 20%. But what if we change the amplifier to be, I don't know, like 4? Well, let's plug that back in. 4 plus 1 is 5, and then 5 times 20, or 20%, 20 is 100, for a 100% 100 speed increase to the player. Now, this sounds fun, so let's stick with this, as this is not an amplifier you could get in normal vanilla Minecraft. Next, we can set the duration to be whatever we want. This is an easy one, but it's important to note that the unit is in ticks. So for this potion, we'll just set it to 10 seconds, or... 200 ticks. All right, now that's almost it for our potion, but let's go ahead and add a name as well. This is actually just the same as naming any item in Minecraft, so we'll want to go ahead and add the display tag here, and then of course name as well. 
once we go ahead and add our other parameters that we've talked about in other videos, I think we'll call it the Rush Ocean. And that's all there is to it. If we click Done, place a button, and go ahead and click it, we get our potion. If we mouse over it, it has its name, strength, and duration on the tooltip. And sure enough, our math was correct. This will increase our speed by 100% when consumed. So let's give this a try. If I go ahead and take this, you can see that our speed is now up to speed 5 for 10 seconds. And oh my gosh, look at this. Sprint jumping is actually slower than just running around in Minecraft at 100% speed increase. Wow, that was, uh, that was certainly a rush. But the color is that of a health potion, which isn't ideal. Plus, this is great to make extended potions, but what about mixed ones? Well, instead of asking you guys to convert colors into their decimal counterparts, let's instead just jump over to MC Stacker, where this can be done for us. So, now that we're here, let's head over to the slash give command, and going down to item, make sure we select potion, or in this case, I think we're actually going to make a splash potion. From there, we want to build out a new potion with multiple effects, similar to how we made a custom potion in-game. So if we go down here, let's take a look at a list of our custom potion effects. As you can see, this lists all of the effects in vanilla Minecraft. And to add one to our potion, we just need to fill out the amplifier and the duration, just like we wrote before. So, for our multi-effect potion, I'm thinking we'll actually make it a dangerous potion that can be thrown at enemies. So let's first give it slowness, with an amplifier of 1. We don't want anything crazy, and this duration will be for 200 ticks, or 10 seconds, just like before. Let's also combine this with blindness for a flashbang effect. We'll set the amplifier here to 0, since this doesn't really matter for blindness specifically, with a shorter duration of 100 ticks, or 5 seconds. Lastly, just to showcase the power here, let's add on hunger with an amplifier of 10. Now, the math for hunger is actually rather complicated, so just note the higher our amplifier, the faster your hunger will deplete. And for duration, also 200 ticks. I also want to point out that if we don't want to show particles for some or any of these effects, we can actually switch show particles to no on here, which I will do for the showcase. Great! All of our effects are set up. Now let's scroll back up and give it a name just like before. I'll call this one the Splash Potion of Bad Times. And let's also go ahead and add some lore or a description to this as well. Just to let players know what it does, we'll write to ruin someone's day. Lastly, let's tick this custom potion color box and go ahead and drag our cursor around until we find a color that we like. I'm thinking probably a dark gray for this potion. Now that our potion is complete, let's make sure we copy this command and check it out in game. So. Let's go and paste it into the command block, press the button, and there's our potion of bad times. And of course, let's demonstrate this on ourselves. And sure enough, we get slowed, blinded, and hungry for the right times. And as you can see, I have no particle showing as well. There you have it, a fully multi-effect potion with just a few simple commands. Now you know everything it takes to make your own wacky custom potions from scratch, but there's one more use case for this that I wanted to showcase to you. Say you want to trick your players into jarring potions from a chest, where they were all identical, but only one of them was filled with deadly poison. Well, surely there would be an easy way to tell, right? Let's just look at the effect. Oh. Oh no. They're all hidden. That's right, with a simple hide flags tag in your give potion command, you can actually hide the effects of your potions from players. This could be useful to not clog their UI if you have a ton of effects in one potion, or to keep an air of mystery about the potions they purchase or find. To do this, simply go back to your command, we'll head towards the beginning here, and add the hide flags tag, and set the value to be 32. This is a specific value for hiding all tags that are not enchantments, modifiers, if it's died, or adventure mode type parameters. Sure enough, if I press done on our original potion, there it is, the splash potion of bad times with no effects listed. Truly a devious trick, but, uh, I don't actually remember which one of these was the death potion. Uh, let's, let's hedge our bets on the last one being safe, probably. Uh, let's just go for it. Ooh, luck! That's better than death. Okay, I'm feeling lucky. Let's try another <laughs> down the line. Help. 
so much for luck. But all taste testings aside, that is going to do it for today's video on custom potions. What crazy concoctions can you come up with now that you know how to brew with commands? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're at it, consider leaving a like if you enjoyed this video, or just love drinking random things out of strange containers you find lying around. Itching for more Minecraft content? We have a Creating Your Own Boss series coming out on the channel weekly that you can check out, and plenty of other command-related tutorials in the library as well. Have a new idea for a video? Pop into our Discord and let me know. This video is actually suggested by Vanilla, so shout out to them for wanting to learn more about potions. But until next time, guys. See ya!